Hello, Mark Crossfield here, hitting TaylorMade SLDR 460S driver. So I use the 460, this is the S. We're just gonna do a video to show you what's the difference between S and the normal SLDR, just to make it clear out there for you guys, because TaylorMade do have a lot of clubs out, they do release a lot of clubs, so let's just talk to you why S is there. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, tailor-made SLDR 460S driver. So you're still getting sliding rail on the bottom to move the weight from heels to, uh, to toes. Um, you're, I'm getting a 460 head, same as SLDR. You're getting a gray top to a black finish, which actually I really like. This is gonna be one of the main reasons why I might change this club. It's as, that's kind of what I'm about. It's all about the cosmetics. Um, I'm loving the look of this one, actually more than the traditional SLDR. Um, in the S, you get a fixed neck, so it's glued. There's no changeable neck. I don't use the changeable neck. It's good for fitting. It's good for some guys who want to move the clubs around, but I feel like I don't need to move the club around. I can do that at delivery. So I'm happy with the glued neck, and the glued neck for you guys means that this one comes in at a slightly lower price point, as I believe it. I don't often look at the prices of these clubs. I don't want it to affect the neutrality of the review, but I've heard this one, I think you can correct me if I'm wrong, but this one does come in cheaper. If you get a proper fitting, so go to a tailor-made tent or wherever, go to your local pro, get a good fitting. You do need the changeable neck, just use that club as is. Um, so I'm happy with the straight neck going in, I don't need the fitting. So you get a different neck and I'm loving the grey finish. Now apart from that, this driver for all intents and purposes is no different to my other driver. It's half a degree different, I've got the 10 degree loft here. So let's give it a hit, we've got GC2 on the floor, we've got real balls, tightless Pro V1s, which we'll show you some data at the end to show you that it might perform and does perform very similar to the one I'm using, if not the same. But putting it down by the ball sits nice and neutral and I'm loving the grey top to the black finish. It reminds me of the driver mini that I've used. Um, yeah, really like it. Let's give it a hit. It feels the same off the face. It makes the same sound as my other one. That's a very similar looking flight to my other one. I will show you the numbers in a second. It's literally for me, you'll be getting S because you like the colorway more. I personally don't know why you wouldn't get the S all day long. It's a little bit cheaper if that is the case, which I'm pretty sure it is. Because um, as long as you get fit properly, why would you need to change the neck around? I've never changed the neck around in my club. I've kept it fixed. Again, I hit that one nicely. It feels exactly the same to blindfold me. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It is literally cosmetics and the cheaper price, guys. So let's have a look at some numbers. Just got it one more. Let's have a look at some numbers um, and show you how this club performs. It's still featuring the low forward CG that SLDR features. So higher launch, loft up campaign, low spin, which this club definitely produces. Arguably not as friendly in the MOI numbers, so twist and off center hit. So if you are using all the face, definitely go and check you can handle this club. But let's have a look at some of the numbers I'm producing with the S, fixed neck gray head, exactly the same. Right guys, numbers time. And we've also got a few Steve Buzzers numbers here as well. Anyone who watches the course vlog, he swings slightly faster than me, just to show you how his numbers come out. So if we start with mine, I hit a few shots with it, trying to get equivalent strikes, and I'm averaging 268 carry with the S. That's pretty much where my driver, nearly every driver I hit, and this one in particular consistently gets up into those uh, kind of numbers. Um, that's the distance it carries. That's where I fly it. Uh, averaging 39 peak height, averaging 1.9 spin, good low spins, a 1.6, a 1.7 and a 2.4. I didn't quite get all of the first one in the right place on the face, which is why the spin went up. But you can see there, this is the driver for me that I consistently get that spin number down. To see that 2.4 in there for me is quite rare on this club. Um, and that's what I love about SLDR. I love loft up low spin for me. I hit the middle of the face, I can make this driver perform. It does just squeeze a few extra yards. Now, every driver I've tried actually goes as far as this, but just not as consistently. 
I always get one that just drops back. This one consistently produces those slightly longer numbers for my game. Now, if we look at the Buzzman's numbers here, he's averaging 289. He does hit it further than me. His furthest one there at 293 using this exact club, same shaft. Um, and he's averaging down at 22 spin, getting one down at 2000, which for him is quite low spin numbers. He does suffer with his spin. So when you watch us play on the courses, if I get my 279 and he gets his 286, but he's spinning at 2.5, I'm spinning at 1.6. If I get a good bounce and a bit of roll out there, I'm up with him and past him. And that's when I get the old sneaky long coming in, which always winds him up. So he is also thinking of going this way because they are good low spin numbers for someone who's swinging almost a good 10 mile an hour faster than me. You can see the numbers are still staying low in spin. His spin numbers aren't as low as mine. That's going to be to do with spin loft, so angle of attack. Um, and dynamic lofts, loft delivered at impact compared to angle of attack, how they differ. I get mine quite close, which is why I get consistently low spin numbers. Um, also, arguably, my strike is a little bit more pinpoint than Steve's sometimes, which also can keep the strike, uh, uh, keep the spin numbers in a consistent spot. But you can see there, good spin numbers. It's the S, it's grey, which I love. It's a fixed neck, which you love. It's less money, you should love. It's low spin. Uh, CG forward, loft up, low spin, just works. It works for me. Does it work for you? Go and try it. I'd love to hear. Post comments down below. Going in the bag. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video. Post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.